and he's here now with some trending news to get our Monday yep. started. What'd you find today, Jenny? Well, we can say this first story is out of this world. You'll see how I lame like and it. punny that really is. Uh, billionaire Richard Branson's company, Virgin Galactic, is one step closer to its 14-year-old goal of sending tourists into space. The company's supersonic plane journeyed into the upper levels of Earth's atmosphere on Thursday, reaching space for the first time. The VSS Unity had a maximum altitude of 51.4 miles. That's about a mile and a half past what the U.S. government recognizes as the edge of space. And the rocket-powered plane's Thursday flight means that the company could be just months away from taking its first load of tourists. They haven't announced exactly when they plan to begin commercial flights, though. Well, there's a lot of unknowns with that story, but one thing's for sure, I know me and Ed won't be flying on that thing That's because true. we were just complaining about <laughs> regular ticket prices yeah. to go to see family. <laughs> and so I can't imagine how much of those are going to cost. Well, if a lot of people want to go, they'll, they'll have to lower prices, right? Yeah, you would think so if it gets packed and becomes a more common thing. Right. I hope they still give you the Biscoff cookies. That's right. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this one, I know you two at least recognize oh, these yay. characters. Yeah. So we've got just two obvious movie characters here from The Christmas Story and National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. I can't say the quote that is goes along with him here, but this <laughs> is a family. They've been doing the Cousin Eddie for a couple years, and this year they decided to put Ralphie on their porch to help keep porch pirates away. Ooh, okay. Yeah, it's kind of creepy, the mannequin with the robe on. It almost yes. looks real. Yeah. but <laughs> They've had a lot of people stop and, and take pictures. Take a good look, do a double take. Oh, like, that's cute. I like that idea. Yeah. I think especially with the man with the cigarette in his mouth next to you. You <laughs> never know what could happen there. Then this is back here in Billings on Thursday as well. Tumbleweed and Faithful Res dis Disaster Restoration partnered to bring area girls clothing. The holiday drive was intended to help local homeless and at-risk teens and young, young adults. They had over 4,000 pieces of clothing donated and wow. around after they matched the gift card donations, there were around $2,300 wow. donated to various places in town for these girls to go get to feel empowered and shop for yeah, themselves. Yeah, that's awesome. When you're a teen and preteen, cute, stylish clothes is just everything. Right. And you want to fit in and, and look good. So And something that's your own, I think, yeah. is so important, too. Yeah, those are cool stories. Really Thank you cool. so Thank much, you. Jenny.